I've had the August Wi-Fi Smart Lock and Keypad installed in my house for two years now. And there are four things that I absolutely love about this lock, but there are two things that drive me crazy. So when I first started looking at a Smart Lock for my new house, I came across this one, the Quickset, um, the 916. Uh, this one is running on both Zigbee or Z-Wave. I really like Zigbee devices. Um, I'm using quite a number at the moment um, with my Home Assistant Yellow, and they work really well. Z-Wave, I'd never played with Z-Wave up to now, so I would have to buy an additional dongle to run a Z-Wave device. The reason I decided against this was that it is a product that you need to have a locksmith to come and install. I'm not a carpenter. I've got no idea how to drill all these holes and get this looking really nice. So I thought I would find a lock that I could use with my existing hardware. So the next sort of thing I looked at was the SwitchBot, one of these devices over here. Now, um, pretty cheap, $99, um, but I wasn't really crazy about the look and feel of the way this device fits on the door. I wasn't too sure how it would work. So eventually I came across the August Smart Lock on Amazon. Um, they've got this little bundle over here. Um, I did want a keypad on the outside so that if guests or visitors come along and you want to give them a passcode to get in, you could do that. So I bought the bundle with the existing, with the keypad on top of the lock. This is the uh, Smart Lock Gen 4 from August. So if we click through here and we have a look at this lock, um, you'll see first of all that it is a Wi-Fi lock. So um, it is communicating directly with your Wi-Fi network. And um, that is obviously a benefit because it means that you can use your app from wherever you are in the world to control this. Um, and you can buy the bundle here with the keypad. Um, if we have a look at the specifications here of this lock, um, it is a lock that will work with a single cylinder deadbolt. And here's a list of compatible locks that would work with that. So just make sure that if you're going to buy one of these, that your lock is on here. And it runs on both iOS and Android app and wireless internet 2.4 gigahertz. Um, now, this is the first issue that I came up with when I was looking at this lock. Um, it runs on the CR123 battery, which is a slightly different size battery to the, um, the type of batteries like AAAs and things like that you'd normally find at your supermarket. Um, I did a bit of research and I found out that these were available quite cheaply from my local hardware store when I ordered this lock. So, And also I'd read online that the battery life was pretty good on these locks around the four month mark. So I thought it would be fine. Um, so yeah, ordered the lock from Amazon. Um, I'm in, in Auckland, New Zealand. Took about two weeks to arrive, 10 days to two weeks. So I was pretty impressed with that. Um, the, the, the lock arrived, um, took it apart, took it out the box, uh, opened up my current lock and installed it. That went really easily. Um, I'll put a link in the description below to a video that shows you how to do that. Um, I unfortunately didn't record it when I was doing the video, but um, very easy to install. One thing I would recommend is make sure that when you turn it, that the bolt is able to move smoothly in and out. Because if you do have a problem where it's quite stiff, then you are going to have a problem with this device. So make sure that it is working nice and smoothly. So I've got it all installed and um, got the app up and running. Works really, really well with the app. The app allows you to control it remotely. Um, it also gives you auto unlock as you approach the door. And it also um, just gives you um, ability to see if the door is open or closed, how long it's been open or closed. You can give special passwords to people as well. So some really, really nice features on this lock. Look at the Home Assistant integration. This is introduced back in 0.64. So it's been around for a long time. And this lock is, um, I'm assuming they've worked out all the bugs and it seems to work really well. When I hooked it up to my Home Assistant, very easy integration and I've had no problems locking or unlocking the door via Home Assistant. Um, if you look down here, uh, one thing they do say is that with the batteries, that the um, the reporting of the uh, battery life is not all of that good. So this is something I'm going to get back to in a moment, is the battery life. Um, but when it comes to the lock itself, it works really well, easy to install and uh, easy to integrate with Home Assistant. 
The problems that I did come up with, first of all, is the battery life. Um, the, the block batteries are only lasting between six and eight weeks. Secondly, the batteries, since COVID, have got really expensive. The cheap ones that I was buying were not available. The other problem is the communication between this little keypad and the lock has been a little bit intermittent for me. So the lock works perfectly, integration with Home Assistant, um, communication with the, um, the app is great. The problem I found was that sometimes the connection between these two, I'm assuming it's a Bluetooth connection, was a little bit flaky and this I would not really recommend this keypad all that much, which is a shame because August seems to produce really quality products, reasonably expensive um, and it's quite a big lock as well, that's the only other thing. But other than that, I would say definitely worth considering, especially if you're a renter and you can't go drilling and replacing things on your home. Anyway, that's all for me now. Have a great week. Bye then.